Hi, and welcome to the Crazy Cute Crafter. This is Melissa, and this is our DIY home decor edition. Today I'm going to show you how to create a lighted photo hanger. So you've probably seen these all over the place on the internet, on Tumblr, on Pinterest. They're really easy to make. So here's what you need. The first thing is, is you need to choose your lighting source. Now this one that I got, this was from Target in the dollar section. I got it on clearance for 50 cents after Christmas was over. It's really cute because it looks like mercury glass. And they are little plastic balls that are over LED lights. And of course it is battery powered. The next thing that you're going to need are going to be just standard wooden clothespins. They sell these practically anywhere, Walmart, Target, hardware stores. I actually pick these up at my local grocery store. And the good thing is, is that you can paint these things in any color that you want to. That's how you can really customize this project. Now this one is actually from Folk Art. I really love their metallics because they're very strong pigmented metallics. And this one is super shimmery. It's like a copper color and you do have to shake it before you use it to make sure that all of those elements can come out in the paint. And then of course you'll just need like a nice fluffy paintbrush to make sure that you get all of the nooks and crannies. So the first thing you're going to do is you want to grab your lighting source and you want to make sure that you stretch it out, measure it, see how many pins you actually want to put on the lighting source just so that way you can count them out and make the project much neater. So you'll want to probably put maybe one pin in between each light bulb. You don't want to pack them in because then if not you won't have much space to put photos. Unless you're using very small photos then you can kind of pack them in and tight. So I'm using seven pins for this project because I have eight light bulbs on this so I'm going to just put one in between each light bulb. So here I go, I'm going to go ahead and paint this, and I love this color. It's almost like a, I don't know, like a rusty copper color. It's great, but Folk Art has all different colors on this. They have silver, they have gold, they even have more of a rose gold color. But since my office is beach themed, and I really have, I, I love this color. I have like an orangey kind of hue on the rug and I have some orange throw pillows. It really kind of goes with it, but it does have that pretty metallic sheen that gives it a little something extra. Now this is really simple to do. All you need to grab is your little fluffy brush and just make sure that you paint along each of the edges on the sides. Try to avoid the metal wiring in this like the little coil because you don't want to get paint in there because if not it's just going to stick and it won't allow you to properly open up the clothespin later to add to the wire of your lighting source. You just want to make sure that you are able to then open it up later on and it doesn't stick together. So go ahead and paint all of your wooden pins Make sure that you get every little angle and every little nook and cranny that you need to just to make sure that you have a complete project. Now once they're done, what I decided to do with this one is I actually took the battery pack for these lights and I painted them to match the clothespins. Just simply because I didn't want to hang this up on my wall and then have it look like, you know, you can see the batteries through it and it's, you know, kind of cheapy looking plastic and I wanted it to look really nice especially since I have a lot of my clients that come and visit me here in my office and stuff I didn't want it to look cheap so I went ahead and I took the same exact acrylic paint which is great because this acrylic paint you can paint anything even non-porous surfaces and it stays put so I painted everything all the way around just kind of gave it a light coat all you need is one coat if you're using uh, this great acrylic paint and then I just went ahead and I painted it all the way around the battery pack. Made sure that I had some even strokes. It looked nice and pretty. Like I said before the greatest thing about this project is that you can actually tailor it to your decor. You can paint all of these little elements any color that you'd like. You can choose any type of lighting source as well. If you're going to use a plugged lighting source, you can do that too. Just kind of keep in mind that you are going to have that little end of the plug kind of hanging around. So you might want to, you know, cover it up with something like a fairly large photo. You're going to see how I actually covered this battery pack up in just a second.
So now it's time to add the pins directly onto the wires. Now these closed pins guys are super versatile. You'll notice that everything is nice and dry, everything is working. I tested out the lights just to make sure that I didn't get any paint inside that little switch. And then another thing that you want to do is you want to open up your pins and you want to locate the inner notch. That little inner notch that's in there, that's what you're going to put your wire into. Now you want to make sure that it sits snug in there but that it's not pinched. Because if you pinch it, you might actually cut the internal wiring and you may not get the um, electricity all the way to each little light. So just be very careful of it. Make sure that it moves inside of the pin and that you can open up the pin to be able to put the photos inside. So all you're going to do is just take one pin and you're going to pop it in between each of your bulbs and you're going to do that along the entire length of the wire. Now it's time to hang your project up. Now I chose to use some command strip hooks but if you notice they're silver so I like the mixed metal look and it kind of matches the little balls that I have on the lighting source. So what I did is I grabbed the hooks and I actually painted them in silver and I used hot glue instead of the command strips to put behind those hooks just simply because I have stucco on this wall and it works so much better it gets into the, like the little nooks of the wall alright guys and here it is all lit up and ready to go inside my office with some beautiful photography that my husband and I took on vacation there it is life is better at the beach and it absolutely is and now I can display it on the wall right in front of my desk have a great day guys thank you for watching this video with the crazy cute crafter come back next week for more DIY home decor